is a funny looking Supra. <laughs> we got some more Supras getting ready. That's a funny looking Supra too, isn't it? Oh, it's adorable. It's even got the tail lights. I mean, they're decals, obviously, but hell yeah. Inside the cockpit. Look at that steering wheel. Oh my god, look how, like, there's really not, I was expecting so much more. But look, you got a couple little fuses. Obviously, we're, you know, running aftermarket engine management. Whoa. Look at the size of these fuel lines. That's fuel. Two inch fuel lines. Oh my god. Look at the size of that boat. Look at the size of this clutch. And they go through these clutches um, like every race pass. We've got another clutch there for the next pass, which is insane. They can tear it down completely. About 40, 45 minutes. Oh my god. So, like that today, is... where they got a little more time, that's why it's not as stressed right now. Right, 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 right. Tomorrow it's it worse. <laughs> Pistons ready for the next run already. Sorry, this is just so. Oh, oh. So what they do? This will check the tolerance on the connecting rods. Yep. So if they go out of tolerance. They jump. Oh, absolutely. Yep. 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 Wow. ARP everything. Whoa! Look at the size. Look at the thickness of those caps. Yep. Whoa! I don't even know what these are. Buttons are going the size. Holy! Stay in there. <laughs> wow. So, one of the tuning methods is heck yeah. So depending oh on the my god. Yep. They'll give them a heck yeah call. When we go to Denver, the track is over a mile right. Away. We'll run as good as heck yeah as possible to make power. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. That makes total sense. Yep. Wow, the stock, and are these, are, are any of these reusable? Or oh, yeah. They look like they're, yeah. Right, right, or unless they so, warp or something like that. Copper. Solid copper. A representative of basically what's going on in the engine. Yep. And the drivetrain and all the things that we look at during the run. Clutch slip, G-forces, excellent. Cylinder temperature. So the criteria is how much traction is right there. How, how quick, how much did we give up? How much did we leave on the table? Okay. See that run first run, I got yep. over it right there. Yep. And then come back down to both sides. So oh. we know that in the 118 degree track temp, what we call 660 grip, how much traction is available. Okay. The next time we run here, we're going to have to do something to clutch to bring this down into that line. So it meets it. We got graphs on top of graphs. This is the throw out bearing movement, the centrifugal clutch. So it releases levers as it enters back, and that determines how much plate load or how much clamp you get as it moves down the racetrack. The time the run is over till I get it back here and start disassembling it, it's still over 1500 degrees. 1500 degrees! Yeah, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. <gasps> what you also do is try to wear this thing. So these things are cutters, and it'll, it'll wear, help the clutch to wear. If you look here, be careful with that. Just put your finger on it. Oh Shut yeah! It. Oh yeah. yeah! So it it just destroys that material. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is a different world. 
basically it's just a centered iron mix that has different compound in it. You can mix tin, lead, all the other stuff to make the asbestos. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, to make it more aggressive, less aggressive, stuff like that, change how each disc reacts. Each disc is different. Changed by how many cutters you have because there's six discs, five floaters. They each have cutters. They go through, and as the motor's turning, you gotta think the flywheel's turning on these lugs. So it's spinning all these. And then these are being compressed in between. So you've got, it's basically like five little pressure plates. Toyota!
probably something that kid's never gonna forget. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> So that is how much the oil has broken down from just the break and run. Wow, that is insane. I would cry if my break and oil looked like that after. 